The following program is brought to you by Element 14, the electronics community where you can connect and collaborate with top engineers from around the world. Join now at element14.com slash presents. Hi, and welcome back to The Learning Circuit. Accelerometers are an extremely useful sensor that can be found in a ton of things used in everyday life. In this video, I'm going to make a project that shows some of the ways accelerometers can sense movement. As I said in my previous video, accelerometers are rather complex little ICs, so they are typically found integrated into dev boards. For my project, I'm going to use the BBC Microbit, which has one built in. The Microbit uses an LSM303 AGR. This chip is an IMU, meaning it also contains a magnetometer and can function as an e-compass. Looking at the features, you can see the range of the accelerometer can be set to 2, 4, 8, or 16 Gs, and is capable of detecting freefall. For this project, I'm making a robot baby, and this is what I want it to do. It will randomly choose between one of three modes. One, the baby wants to be picked up. Two, the baby's sleepy and wants to be laid down for a nap. And three, the baby needs its diaper changed. <coughs> The baby will also react to a few other accelerometer conditions. If it's face down, it will cry until it's turned over. If the baby is dropped and free fall is detected, the baby will scream. And if you shake baby too hard, it dies. But just for a little bit. For the hardware, I'll need one BBC micro bit, a battery pack to power it, and because the baby needs to be able to cry, I also need a piezo buzzer. Rather than buying a robot toy, I want to make my own. So I was hanging out with my friend and she recently got a grocery order that came in these cool Mylar bags. I thought these would make a great skin. So my robot is going to be made of this. And since I want to be able to see the LED screen on the front of the micro bit, I need something with a clear window. So I found some fitness bands that will go on the front of the body of the baby, and it'll also make it really easy to insert and remove my electronics. Okay, so I cut a little slit here in the band so I can stick the battery pack between the fitness band and the body of the robot. And then this will go in front with the buzzer behind it so you can see the nice little screen. All right, it's time to program this baby. Literally. I'm using MakeCode to program my robot so I don't have to futz around with Python or JavaScript. Since there's a lot of code for this, I've gone ahead and written it all, and I'm just going to walk you through it. To start, I create a variable that when set to zero, it's in its default off state. Since one of the modes has a poopy diaper, we set diaper here to zero as the default off. And by default, baby is happy. This makes sure baby isn't crying or making any noise while it's in its default happy state. I want baby to be happy for a random period of time, so it'll pause for between two and 10 seconds. Then one of the three modes will randomly be selected. Each mode has a different face and cry to make it easier to figure out what the baby needs. In the first mode, baby wants to be picked up. When baby equals one, crying is set to one. When crying equals one, the baby will flash these two faces and this melody will play as the cry. That animation and melody will loop until the accelerometer senses that the logo is up. When that happens, crying will be reset back to zero, a big heart will flash to let the user know that they've made the baby happy, it'll pause for a second, and then baby will be reset back to the default zero. In the second mode, baby is sleepy and wants to be put down for a nap. In this mode, these faces will flash and this melody will play. Those faces and melody will loop until the accelerometer senses that the screen is up. 
therefore the baby is laying down. Then the small heart will flash, the big heart, and then the baby sleeps. I thought it would be cute to add a little baby snore. So this will loop between four and 10 times. Then the baby will wake up and the settings will reset back to default. In mode three, baby has a poopy diaper that needs to be changed. For this crying mode, I used playtone blocks that'll play for one eighth beat each. Since I want this baby to be fairly realistic, I decided to make this task a little more complicated and require a series of movements to simulate changing a diaper. A series of four gestures must happen in order. Remember in the default state, diaper is set to zero. When diaper is set to zero, the accelerometer waits to sense screen up, therefore the baby laying down. When it senses this, this icon will flash and diaper is set to one, moving on to the next condition. The user then has to simulate the diaper change by lifting the right leg of the baby, tilting the micro bit left. Then this icon will flash, diaper is set to two, and the micro bit waits for this gesture. The user then needs to pick up the left leg of the robot, tilting the micro bit right, then this icon flashes and diaper is set to three. The diaper is now changed, so baby needs to be picked up, making the logo be up, and a small heart flashes and the baby stops crying. Whenever crying is set to zero, a big heart flashes for one second and baby is reset to zero. Those are the three main modes. Now I'll show you the programming for the three incidents. This should stop any sound from the main program. While baby is face down or screen down, these two faces will flash and this melody will play as a cry. As soon as screen down is no longer true, baby is set back to zero to the default program. Whenever free fall is detected, the baby gets angry and screams. And if baby is ever shaken too hard and the accelerometer registers eight Gs, a skull will flash on the screen, the funeral march will play, and then don't shake baby will scroll across the LED display. But don't worry, baby isn't dead forever. This little ditty will play and then a skull and X will scroll for a random five to 10 times and then baby will go back to default setting and be just fine. That's it. Let's put these pieces together and see this baby in action. Baby's sleepy and needs a nap. Oh no, baby has a poopy diaper. Happy baby, so happy. Okay, time to shake baby too hard. I never took the class in high school where they give you a fake baby to take care of, but I think I like this one better. If you have an idea for an accelerometer project, post about it on the Element 14 community on element14.com forward slash the learning circuit. I'd love to see what you can come up with. Happy learning. Just a cute little robot guy.